What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use a nice plugin by Jump United that is a WordPress product called WP Media Folder this is an amazing WordPress plugin who organizes and creates galleries into your WordPress so if you are managing tons of images and would like to keep everything organized, safe, synchronized with your services and easier to display. I do recommend a plugin like this for you because it has some amazing options. For example, right here, you can see the amount of navigation and organization options for your gallery to display your images for your website users. Here is the plugin features and description page on the on their developers website i'm gonna leave a link in the description below for this page so you can review yourself i did use this plugin for some websites to make a test and i really enjoy it especially in the case that you are managing tons of images it's really really important to have a tool like this that wordpress does not offer by the full but thankfully for this developers we do have some this kind of options we have future options we have organization options we have import and synchronization options and this is also we have third-party plugins compatibility so if you have an image that you uploaded to be your product image into WooCommerce the plugin gonna do sort it gonna separate this image so you can organize and find this image easier of course you can create new folders i do i will do explain how to do this but by now i just want to show how big this can be and how big this already is we have some translations of course there's no free launch so this is a premium plugin because the developers are applying a lot of time and effort into this kind of tool I do got some I do got the plugin files and some add-ons so I can share a video with you and to use in some of our sites. I'm already using and once I'm enjoyed I would like to explain how to use this. First of all we're gonna need to install the plugin. As soon as you purchase the plugin on their website you're gonna have these files. The very and most important one, let me just delete this, this is a WordPress theme from us to Visual Mode. But by now, we're gonna need to download and install this WP Media folder. It's in .zip. If you do, if your website do display an error called uh, this file exceed the PHP any, which is normal and some hosts apply low upload options and limits into the servers just contact your hosting servers service support to fix it or fix yourself into the php.ini or follow a video tutorial on our youtube channel called how to fix the max upload file size but in most of the cases nothing gonna happen you can install this really easier as i'm showing into this video now i do recommend that you follow the setup wizard which is really important. They're gonna check your PHP versions, image permissions. This is PHP model. And now in the second step, you can apply the live room and the other options and the additional features. For example, WP media folder into the front end. This is really nice. And I will show how this work. The duplicate folder this is some default options of the plugin that i recommend that you keep on so you can choose use or not but before anything keep everything on now let's review how fancy and powerful our wordpress media library it's looking like right now there's tons of features now we can filter, you can sort, we can display. Let me just create a new folder. 
it's almost like the old and so much loved Windows Explorer. We're going to create a new folder and we can simply drag, select, you know, book select, drag and drop the image right here. This is our page. If you hover your mouse over anything right here, you can click with the right button so we can see the options. We can create a new folder, rename, delete, or even change colors for an easier identification. For example, a purple color for a file called WhoCommerce. We can create a new one. I'm gonna add the name of healthcare and I'm gonna paint it as pink just to separate it. If you click on the image, you can see two new buttons, one called replace and another one called duplicate. If you click on the duplicate button, you're gonna be creating a new image on your media library, which, do, which makes the process really simple. We can replace, we can duplicate again, and we can delete. I'm gonna remove these duplications. Now we can move to the files, clicking with the right button of the mouse as well. Just select the folder where you want to apply this image. And the image is gonna be added to that folder. Simple, fast and easy. And as you can see, the plugin works really fast. It's almost like it's your personal desktop computer into a local. We can add a remote video and add new. Now let's explore the filtering options. We have clear filtering and sorting. We can display only my own media in the case that the website have more users we can display document documents only and do any kind of sorting that you would like to do date size wage this is truly good if you click on sorting you can change how the images are organized, for example, by date, by title, by alphabetic way. This is the order of the image. Now let's explore something that is truly nice on this plugin. Go to WordPress dashboard settings and scroll down until you find this. That is the WP Media Folder Setting Panel. This is an amazing panel where you can enable or disable every part of the plugin. So let's imagine that you do not like the, some part of it and would like to just keep off. And you can do it without a problem. One of my favorite parts is this one by rename and watermark. You can change every kind of part of this section. For example, copyright, plus, period, title. This is truly nice because when you now click on rename image, some image on your media library gallery, and of course on your website, you can rename and apply all of these options. This is truly good for SEO as well because your image will have more information. Let me save it and show the media library gallery once again and after this we're gonna move to the watermark we have now other options called image gallery links to that is a new field this is gonna be very useful when you go to the images gallery display we go to the part where we do display these images for the website user to see and as you can see, if you click on edit, you go and open this box with the media editor. Now, let me show you more options of this plugin. We have media filtering 
and demand settings. We have the WordPress gallery, which is truly nice. We're gonna display with we're gonna play with this later. We have the access and design. This is the part where we can apply options for user rules, for example, only admins of your website can edit settings on the plugin and access some files, for example. This is good if you have multiple, multiple contributors or editors into your blog. Now, if you go to the watermark, you can apply a watermark into your website image simply by uploading a logo, for example, to be the watermark of our image. And the plugin does this automatically for you. I'm gonna select a logo, I'm gonna select a visual model logo. If you gonna upload a watermark, I do recommend that you upload a bigger image. Once this is just a test to show you the process and how simple it is, I will not worry. You can also play with the opacity, the position, the margin. You can exclude some folders to, to receive the watermark and other nice things. Now, let's start adding these galleries, these fancy galleries into our posts. I'm gonna be using WordPress Gutenberg Editor and apply a post, create a new post. However, this plugin is full compatible with any other page builder plugins. So no need to worry if you are using Elementor or if you are using WP Bakery, for example. You're just gonna grab the plugin shortcode and apply into your page. Simple, fast, and effective. As you can see, the process is really fast on WP Gutenberg Editor, the native WordPress editor. And the same thing works for pages, for posts, for custom post types like WooCommerce products, for example. In the case, I want to apply a small gallery onto the product description. Let's preview, and here's what we have. We do have two plugin add-ons that are gonna be installing now and sharing how these plugins work and showing some features of these plugins. I'm gonna first install the add-on, which allow me to sync things with Google Cloud or Google Photos, for example, or even Amazon. This is really nice to keep everything back it up and sync. So the first that I'm gonna be installing in the very same way that I did, that we did install the main plugin file, it's the WP Media folder add-on. Click on activate plugin. And now we're gonna be able to see more options into the WordPress dashboard settings WP media folder let me show more about this section for example right here into the cloud we have Google Drive Google Photos Dropbox OneDrive and this is the place where we're gonna apply our client IDs we have translations this is the full on the plugin. The plugin is really translatable in multiple languages, in fact, a lot of languages. We have physical folders. I do recommend that you take a moment to read this content and review the plugin doc that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below because this plugin is really big and have a lot of nice things to do. For example, right here, we can regenerate the thumb. Or right here, where you can sync the server folder. For example, let's imagine that we did apply a watermark into our image, but this watermark isn't present because the sync takes some time. We can force it right here. 
this is uh, a little more advanced option but if you are a developer you can import and export everything to an easier site migration or backup files for example now let's install the final add-on go to wordpress dashboard plugins add new upload and i'm gonna be uploading the wp media folder gallery add-on this is my favorite add-on because it applies tons of options to image galleries into the page and posts this is the part where the users see on my site for example if someone's access the site this is the public part we're gonna install and activate and now instead of going to settings to see what changes go to posts add new or edit the old post let me remove this block and add a new one using the new options that we did have search for wp media and now you can see a new block wp media folder gallery add-on if you click on the button you can see your image select some file you can select the entire folder or some previously made folder We did create the slider and apply four files on it. So we now can select the gallery name, the style, for example, gallery team, masonry, portfolio, slider. We can change the duration of the slider, the position, the size. There's tons of options in the end you can see the short code this is important if in the case that you want to apply this content in some other section of your site for example we get on the footer or if you are using another page builder you can cop copy that short code and apply in some page but once we are here on Gutenberg we can save the change and insert but before insert let me edit by clicking on the pencil icon go to the display settings and short code there's no need to apply this or insert in the page you can click on the preview but I would like to insert on the page and here's the slider option this is one of the many options that you have and it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to WP Media Folder WordPress plugin. And I see you later. All the best.